there. Hey guys, my name is Patrick Lyons, and if you've never seen a video of mine before, hello. I appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I upload as close to weekly as possible, so be sure to check that out for future videos. In today's video, I'm going to be getting an RMR and a VO2 max test. These are two different measures of my metabolism and my cardiovascular performance. I don't want to spoil too much about how exactly that works, so just keep watching to learn more and see the machines in action. With VO2, I have different protocols depending on kind of like what your cardio is. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you do right now, like as far as cardio? So do you do running? Because or? I've been bulking, I didn't want to have to eat more than I needed to. So yeah. I'm doing very little. Like okay. the extent of my cardio is walking probably 30 minutes a day. Okay. What do you think your cardio level is like, though? It's like pretty good. Pretty. I'd say like the slightest above average, but maybe just average. Okay. Because like, okay. like all I do is walk. Like fair. You know. All right. So. I have, so one protocol I have is I, I call it the hiking protocol. And it's basically like a brisk walk. Yeah. And then every minute the incline goes up. That's why I call it the hiking because after six, seven minutes, you're walking briskly a pretty steep hill. Yeah. yeah. The next level up from that is a jogging one. So it's five miles an hour and the speed stays the same the whole time. And every two minutes, so a little bit more of a transition period to kind of adjust. Yeah. Because it's at a faster speed. Uh, every two minutes the incline goes up. all hooked up and we're just measuring how much oxygen he breathes in and then when he exhales he's exhaling co2 carbon dioxide and then from those we're gonna get a bunch of cool information find out how many calories you're burning and then what are you using as a fuel source source you want fats versus carbohydrates up uh, we're up um i'm just gonna have you stand like straddle the tread so your feet are on those there there you go good once it gets up and running We'll check, make sure that connection is happening. Uh, we're gonna do one minute of just a baseline. Just you standing here, make sure everything's looking good before we start. Once we're ready, I'm gonna have you stand on the treads and we'll start it rolling. So it's gonna start up at that five miles an hour. Okay, it'll stay at that speed the whole time. Your job's just to go as long as you can. So you wanna push yourself. So it's, it's a hard test, right? It gets hard. because of like very little injuries. I just like never got back into it and then I started bulking. So like that was like a test for me. It was just like, can I do this at all? Yeah. Um, so I'm very curious to see what the no, you did good. results are. Up here first, okay. All right, so this is our resting metabolic rate report. All, you're gonna get a PDF of all of these too, so you'll have an electronic copy, okay. So this top section here, I'm gonna use my pen to point. Profile, just the information that you gave me, right? So nothing new here. The computer takes this information and does some calculations and gives us this prediction. All right, so it's probably similar to, you know, any other kind of predicted rest of your metabolic rate. So we predicted you at 1908, measured you at 1995. So your metabolism is normal, but so like 5% over prediction. Yeah. Um, and now we have your rest of metabolic rate, and then we take this number, and then depending on your activity, I basically have your maintenance calories. Gotcha. All right, so you can figure out what is my maintenance calories if I want to stay where I'm at. And now you can figure out, well, depending on what my goal is, I want to be in a deficit or a surplus, depending on what I'm trying to do at that time. Sweet. Um, we like to think of this number as sort of a ground floor. We don't recommend people going below that for long periods of time. Um, when you, I mean, obviously like a week or two is not gonna do anything, right? A day or two is not gonna do anything, but 
months on end below this resting metabolic rate, we can start to see your metabolism will usually slow down or become more efficient. Gotcha. Rates, I can uh, interchange those for this purposes, okay? So I measured you at 0.94, which means you're at 81% sugar and 19% fat. So, for, so that's not good or bad. That's all context, right? Yeah. So the people are usually like, oh, is that bad? Is that good? It, it just depends. Um, but I asked you earlier, like, what did you eat? And yeah. you told me what you ate. And it's like, I just, my first thing I want to look at is like, does it sort of match with what I ate? Yeah. Last fuel that I gave my body, am I using that? Yeah. And you had a pretty high carbohydrate. High yeah. And so I actually want to see that high carbohydrate, right? I want to be burning what I'm giving my body. Yeah. So that's the first thing I look at. So does it does it match? Right. And of course, the longer we're fasting, we should start slipping down towards more fat metabolizing, um, and that would be something that you could theoretically we could measure too, right? So yeah. you could say, hey, I'm going to go on a fast, or I'm going to eat low carb for a while. We can come back in and we can measure you. It's like, am I able to metabolize fat? Yeah. Well, and we can check that too. But that's how you can kind of utilize this. You can figure out depending on what I'm trying to do, how I might change my nutrition. Let's check out your VO2. All right, so similar setup, right? I have your profile here. I've got your VO2. So your VO2 max, I measured you at 36.3. Your max heart rate was at 189 at that point. You can't see this here, but I do have a poster over there. At this, uh, at your age, this 36.3, it puts you in the poor category of fitness level. <laughs> All right. I believe it. I mean, I haven't done <laughs> cardio in years. So I believe it. All right. So now you're probably not, I can't see this, but you're probably not far from switching over. Let me think here. This looks like 36.9. 36 Let's go over this poster here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 0.2 uh, away, right? So did it say 36.9? 36.9. Or was it 3 or 9? Uh, I think it was 3. 3. 36.9. Ah, yeah. I mean, so you really are, you're right on the cusp right here. Yeah. Every one of these categories is like a significant improvement in health and things. And like you said, you worked out, whatever, so you, you probably could have pushed it up into this range here. Yeah. It's actually a pretty good place for most people to be. Cool. Right? Um, so then the next goal would be like maybe I move up into that, that 42. Yeah. We do see people improve their VO2. It's usually not really drastic over a short period of time, but over six months, a year, it can be pretty significant. measured your resting metabolic rate at 1593 okay so that's pretty I think you were around 1900 the first time okay. that we did you you were about four percent fast we've got you at about 14 percent slow okay. okay it's probably just because you've been cutting so long yeah, yeah. um so that makes sense but so you predicted as at 1849 we've got you at 1593 and that's why we come up with this okay, okay. So now here we've got these new kind of calorie guidelines based on this new resting metabolic rate. All right. So your RER is at 0.86, and so that's your respiratory exchange ratio, and that's how many carbs, how much percentage of that calories is coming from carbs versus from fats, right? Yeah. Last time you were at like 0.96 or somewhere around there. That could be a little bit off. But I know it was over 0.9. Yeah. So. You are burning a higher, a much higher percentage of fat right now than last time you were here. Yeah, I also have a greater percent of fat in my diet, so that probably. Oh, and that would make sense with that too. That your body's adapting towards that. Yeah. And it's, uh, also, it probably is also some proof that you're in somewhat of a deficit still, or yeah. at least kind of starting to starting to maintain that. Maybe. Right. Um, your resting heart rate is at 44. Last time it was in the, like 70 or 71 wow. or somewhere around there. So it could be some other things. You maybe maybe you weren't completely rested when you we had yeah. to take the chair last yeah. time. But that's a, a big improvement. That looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the, the way these work, this takes that resting metabolic rate and then it builds these calorie goals here for you. All right. So that's your resting test. So your VO two max today we got you at forty point seven. 
And last time we got you at 36.3. Right? Oh. So that's a big improvement. And actually it moved, um, what happened is last time, we had you here, oh I can do this on here and I can see it now. Usually it's small, I can see it. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're in this range right here. Okay, so 36.4, last time you were here in this four zone. Yeah. And you're now 40.7, so you're well in this fair, so this is good, I'll have to, I'll, we'll fix that. It's yeah. just the error in, in the algorithm. But so that's, that puts you up into this next stage. Yeah, okay. that's good. But that's a big improvement from 36 to 40. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome. And your anaerobic threshold, this is the number I said, I said, oh, I've already seen some improvement. So what I saw is that, oh, let me back up. The VO2, your heart rate was at 181 when you hit that also. Mm -hmm. And last time, I think that was a bit higher as well. Um, it was at 189. So you're also, not only are you hitting a higher VO2 max, but your heart is, isn't having to work as hard for that awesome. either, right? So yeah. that's, that's a big improvement. Anaerobic threshold, I saw a very similar thing, right? So your VO2 at anaerobic threshold, and that's when you're switching over to you're not using fat anymore. Yeah. You're no longer burning fat at this yeah. point. Your uh, at, was at 29.4 previously. That occurred at 28.3, right? So that's a, a bonus. And your heart rate at anaerobic threshold was 145 last time, and now it's at 140. Your 0.85 is what your aerobic threshold is. And just so you know, that happens at about 114 for you. So in this low zone here, okay, is when you are burning, that's when you're burning 50% carbohydrates and 50% fats. Okay, all right. And that happened, um, uh, when, oh, you told me you felt like you were at a two, yeah. right? So that, when you're feeling like you're at a two, you're probably burning about half fat and half carb at that point. That's about your aerobic threshold. Okay. Right. So that happened right here. So then we have these new zones here for you. And these are a little bit different than they were last time. Your low was from 113 to 152. So you can see that's a big difference. Oh, wow. Right? And then 151 was your cutoff here, and that was at 189. So it's a little bit different. The zones are a little bit, yep. a bit different. And what about the um, recovery heart rates? Yes. And you're recovering, so after one minute, you drop down to 155. So you went from 181 all the way down into 155 down here. And I like to see a 20 beat drop in that first minute. So you're well, yeah, well ahead of that, right? So you recovered really well. Um, what did you do last time? I think I wrote that down here as well. You went from 189 to 164. So that's actually better, right? Yeah. And then after two minutes, you drop down to 125, so you're well, almost into getting to the back of your low zone after two minutes. So that kind of lets you know, gives you a good idea of how much time you might need between sets. For yeah. Example. So That's one minute is probably good enough to get you down into here. Two minutes is, so one and a half, two minutes might be a, or one minute to one and a half is probably a pretty good time between sets for you. Very cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you were surprised by the results of my metabolism, my RMR test, you shouldn't be because I was cutting for literally 22 weeks. When you cut for that long, your metabolism will take a hit. Basically, a smaller body burns fewer calories than a larger body. But now, almost a year after the initial filming, my metabolism has fully compensated all of that and more, so it absolutely is not a permanent change. And then in terms of the VO2 max test, I'm actually pretty stoked about the results because from doing no formal cardio, just losing weight and going for walks on a daily basis, I was able to advance from, I think, like poor to average. So now, if I actually do cardio, I can absolutely increase my VO2 max even more. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video learning about this as much as I did. If you did, I'll see you guys next time. And if you didn't, I hope I'll see you in the future. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace out. <laughs>